Hey guys. So I'm going to be reviewing two City Color products for you today. One I found at Burlington Co. Factory, one I found at Five Below. And um, the reason why I'm going to be reviewing them together is because they go hand in hand and work together. By the way, you may hear some odd noises in the background. There's nothing I can do about that. One of my neighbors is having some kind of extension put on his house so I can hear hammering. Another neighbor has got a lawnmower going. Another neighbor has got a leaf blower going, but life goes on. I can't do anything about it. So sorry if you can hear those background noises. But anyways, um, yeah, so I'm going to review these two City Color products for you, and I'm actually going to use them on camera so you can see how they work. But first, let me tell you a little bit about them. I found a City Color HD blush at Five Below. This was only $2, and I figured for 2 bucks it was well worth trying. Really pretty color. The shade name is Warm Lavender, and, uh, I don't know, to me that's not warm, that looks cooler to me, but, okay, City Color, we'll, we'll go with that, Warm Lavender. And, uh, so I really like this, and I wanted to show you in action me applying it and how it blends and so forth, but two bucks. So really like that. And then at Burlington Coal Factory, I found this. This is a City Color small multi-use oval brush. That This is the packaging that it comes in. And you know, I wasn't really curious about these types of brushes for the longest time when everybody was showing them and talking about them. But now that I've actually used one, I get the hype. It's one of these types that looks like a, a toothbrush, <laughs> a big toothbrush. It's got duo fiber brush hairs. It's got a handle like a toothbrush. Um, I Initially it was a little awkward using this, holding it, but now that I'm used to it, I actually feel like it's less awkward than a traditional makeup brush. It's easier to hold and to use and you can really feel what you're doing better in your hand. It doesn't say on the packaging, but this is definitely some kind of synthetic material and um, I, I don't have no idea what the material is. It doesn't say. It just says small multi-use oval brush used with liquid and powder used to apply and blend blush, foundation, contour, concealer, and more. And um, so this is the small one for $3.99. They also have a large one. Uh, I didn't see that one at the store, but this to me is the most practical size because you could really do so many things with this particular size. I've been using it for blush and I really, really like it for blush and I'm going to show you how well it works um, right now because there really isn't anything else to say about this. But uh, City Color products in general can be found at Burlington Co-Factory, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Five Below, those are the four places that I mainly see this brand. Uh, plus they have a website that you can order from, but you'll pay a little more if you order from the website because those stores that I just mentioned always have things discounted. Okay, so I have all my makeup on with the exception of blush and a highlighter because I'm also going to show you how I use that um, hard candy prismatic luminizer now that I've had it for a while. I'm going to show you a more practical everyday way of wearing it rather than doing a big rainbow stripe across your face but I'll get to that in a second so all I do is just I hold hold it like this and I put my index finger on the back of the brush and then I kind of lightly swirl my brush in there so this is quite a bit of product but I've already done my contour, so I'm just going to go right across the top of my contour like that. Then I blend it out, and I just go in small circular motions. And because I've been doing this with this brush, I'm actually using a lot more blush these days, and... 
that's good and bad. I mean, for my videos, I think it looks um, nicer to have more blush. But in real life, it looks a little too much blush. But a lot of people have said to me, uh, geez, you don't wear very much blush, but I do now <laughs> because of this brush. But I really like it. It just it blends so nice. I mean, you can just keep... You know how sometimes with blushes, you can put too much on and you can't blend it out no matter what you do? This brush, you can blend out anything. And, um... <laughs> Everything gets reversed in here. I should go get a mirror. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, this this material, I don't know what this material is, some kind of synthetic material, but man, oh man, this blends so nice. And so, yeah, that's that's a lot of blush. Let's blend it some more. <laughs> so just keep just keep blending it doesn't look crazy anymore yeah that, that's too much isn't it love this color though it's so pretty that's why there's no way this could be warm lavender because I have cool toned skin and this to me looks like a very cool toned blush it's very complimentary to my skin tone and if it was warm tone it wouldn't be <laughs> so it's in the same color family as what I have on my lips which is ColourPop Dopey and this is a cool mauve so to me, this blush looks more like a cool mauve than it does a warm lavender. But anyways, um, yeah, so I love this. It works great. I mean, you can just put less blush on and then you won't have to blend it as much. But I really like that. I like the blush. I like the brush. It's all good. Now, as far as the hard candy... Trolls Prismatic Luminizer goes and this if you didn't see that video I did a video on the products that I bought from this limited edition collection from Hard Candy that's at Walmart and it's a rainbow and that isn't the most um, practical thing in the world to have a rainbow on your face <laughs> so what I do now is I take this brush that I got with one of my benefit blushes and I brush down the rainbow then I go sideways with all the colors basically across the top of my cheeks and it just gives you like a really pretty um, glow of colors you'll see all right so I'm just gonna go right across the top of my cheekbone so it just gives you a nice glow of all different colors it's it's hard to pick up on camera but and I go down the stripes um, vertically yeah, and it just gives you a multicolored shimmer wish the camera would pick it up because it is so pretty you'll just have to take my word for it I guess so that is it you guys um I uh, been really enjoying these affordable products that I've been finding at these discount stores and um, that's it thanks so much for watching and subscribing as you can see I got my Christmas tree up I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet but I just asked my husband the other day, I was like, oh, do you know where the Christmas tree is uh, that I usually put behind me to film? I said, is it, is it in the shed or it, do you know where, do you remember where we put it last year? 
He said, oh yeah, I'll get it out for you. I was like, no, no, I just wanted to know where it was. That's okay. You don't have to, you don't have to take it out just yet. It's not even Thanksgiving. Later on that day, there's the box in the middle of the living room floor. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm putting up the tree early this year. So, um, yeah, I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Believe me, I'm not trying to rush the holidays. <laughs> um, that's it. So thanks for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.